Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is for my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As you guys can see, we've already pulled out the cards, so let's jump right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2018. Now, your first card here is the King of Swords. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And you have the Five of Swords. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, for those of you guys that are in a long-term or a committed relationship, uh, you guys may be experiencing a lot of difficulties with communication. Uh, there's been a lot of misunderstandings and ego is definitely on the way or in the way, I should say. Five of Swords is always about I'm right, you're wrong, and I'm going to prove it. And I go to the end of Earth just to prove that, I, that you were wrong. But once I'm able to prove that, there's really no fulfillment in it. It's more to do with just being arrogant or just being completely always wanting to have the upper hand. And as we know, when it comes to relationships, you know, ego cannot be involved. Um, once we have too much ego it kind of diminishes and tarnishes the relationship. And I feel that some of you guys may be experiencing that or have been experiencing that um, in this in this past month. Now, the Five of Swords, again, like I said, is very uh, defensive type of energy. It's energy of the feeling of always wanting to be right. Um, and again, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing that your partner is, you know, just pretty much arguing about anything and everything. Um, and it probably has a lot to do with insecurities that they're currently going through. Now, you do have the Eight of Pentacles here. I feel that by the third week of November going into December, they're going to come to terms with understanding that, you know, just being or acting like a complete nutcase is not really helping them. And they're going to you're they're going to want to come to you and talk to you uh, in regards to how do we go, where do we go from here and how do we fix it? Uh, so they're going to be more emotionally available to you. Um, again, like I said, the third week of November going into December, they're going to be a little bit more grounded. They're going to be um, more, you know, more loving than they've been in the past. Now, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Again, like I said, an air sign or um, an earth sign. An earth sign would be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Uh, and I feel that for those of you guys that are currently single or have been single for quite a while, um, you're still currently dealing with an ex-partner that could have been an air sign. And again, a very combative type of energy, okay? This is the type of energy that it, it's not good for you and it's not good for them. Um, but I feel that you're finally being able to detach yourself from that or come to terms with something that has to do with, with the partner from the past. This could have, um, for those of you guys, for those of you Leos out there that have children, it could be finding the balance and bringing harmony again, getting on the same page for the sake of the children. Now, the Eight of Pentacles does talk about long hours. So for some of you guys, you may be experiencing that you're overworking or that your partner's been overworking, and that's where the misunderstandings and miscommunication are coming from or insecurities. Uh, this could be a vice versa. It is a general reading. Nonetheless, I feel that at the end of the month going into December, you're going to start to understand why your partner's been working very long hours or... Uh, not being able to spend so much time with you or with your family as a family dynamic because you're going to see the increase in pay or extra money coming in. So again, a much more grounded type of energy. Now, I do want to mention the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you guys, uh, you may be experiencing at the end of the month that there's going to be another increase in your pay or that people at your work are starting to notice and um give you either compliments or recognition. This could be um, getting an opportunity for a higher ranking position or an increase in your pay. Um, I believe I had foreseen that in the past two months ago or something like that. 
Um, but I do feel that there's another increase that's coming. So for those of you guys that have already gotten an increase, do not be surprised if by December there's another increase in your pay. Um, as the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles does promise um, financial stability and an increase or growth in your finances. Uh, for those of you guys that are single or have been currently single, again, um, with the Five of Swords, you're very defensive. People may try to come towards you or get your attention. And I feel that for some of you guys, you may be a little bit too judgmental. Uh, and it probably just has to do with the fact that you were tainted in the past and you have your defenses way the hell up. Try to bring them down, Leo. Try to give people the opportunity. Just because someone, you know, has dirty shoes doesn't mean <laughs> doesn't mean that they're dirty. It just means that perhaps they work in construction or perhaps they, you know, um, work with dirt or something like that. It, this is something that I'm just picking up. So I, I'm not saying you guys are judgmental. Not at all. <laughs> But again, like I said, don't go off of superficial looks because a lot of the times um, people that notice you are people that want to get your attention could be financially secure and financially stable. And you're only being led by what you're seeing at face value. So just keep that in mind, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other at the end of the month. Bye.